do you feel any after effects from the uh, from the surgery? Or are you you one hundred percent? Yeah, it feels good. Feel like uh, ready, ready to go. Uh, not like the arm that I used to have uh, and, and before, but uh, I still like um, I can throw to the chest. So it's really, just from from before the bone spurs that you feel the difference. No, I say like before, like uh, when I signed, two thousand eight. Oh, as an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're all getting older, Gio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gio, yesterday, um, Glaber was telling us a lot about his relationship with DJ LeMahieu and how he kind of looks up to him and a lot of the things that he tries to learn from him. It's it's hard to get to know DJ because he doesn't say a whole lot. I'm, I'm wondering what your relationship with DJ is like and what kind of things you've learned from him. Yeah, uh, as you know, DJ is a, a quiet guy, but if you talk with DJ, he gonna talk a lot, and uh, every time I um, I ask a lot of questions to DJ, I mean that he's uh, he's been in the game for like almost uh, nine, ten years. Uh, he got a lot of success, so I I ask uh, uh, a lot of questions to DJ and trying to to learn from him. He's a really good guy, and he always trying to share what the, his experience with the with us. What are some of the things that that you've tried to get out of him? Uh, stuff like uh, hitting uh, what he think or, or like that, how he prepare himself to get ready for, for the season and for the game. That's all that kind of stuff that helped me a lot. Gio, how has Glaber looked at short to you this spring? Really good. Uh, he's been moving uh, uh, really good to the ball. He got uh, a lot of range. Uh, I, the, what I saw from the the other days, like the balls to to like to the left side, how how quick he gets to the balls, and he's in uh, good shape and he's making the plays.